Hi, I'm Dr. Rodney Roundtree, and I'd like to introduce you to a scientific study of fish sounds and how the underwater soundscape is important to fish ecology. Did you know that fish are vocal? Sounds of over 1,000 species have been identified, but most fish have not yet been studied. Aquatic habitats are filled with a high diversity of sounds, mostly from unknown origins. Listen to a sample of sounds from known and unknown fishes in North America. Why do fishes make sounds? Vocal fishes are, use sounds for communication in much the same ways that frogs and birds do. They use them to advertise for a mate, in their courtship displays, to defend their territories, and as a predator alarm or disturbance call. Fish make sounds in a variety of ways. One mechanism is stridulation, which is the rubbing or scraping of hard parts together, like fins, bones, or teeth. Listen to the Crevel Jack grinding its teeth. Drumming is another important mechanism. Special muscles push or pull on an internal air-filled organ called the swim bladder. Listen to the oyster toadfish calling for a mate. Air passes sounds are a little understood mechanism of sound production where fish use controlled movements of air within the body and release of air in burps or farts to communicate. Listen to an unknown fart sound, probably from a salmon or a trout. The soundscape is simply all the sounds that characterize a habitat or are present at a given location and time. Most fish use sound perception to obtain information about their habit habitat. They listen to find food, to find habitats, to avoid predators and other dangers, and to navigate through their environment. Fish use the soundscape to create an acoustic map of their environment. Man-made noise can be a problem in both marine and aquatic habitats by masking vocal communication or masking the natural sound signals in the soundscape that fish depend on, such as prey sounds and habitat signatures. Listen to an example of how a small boat passing through an area can mask a Cuskiel spawning chorus. Here you hear the Cuskiel chorus and some other external sounds. And now you can hear a small boat approaching from about a quarter mile away. Notice that it completely masks the chorus. And I'll stop it here because it gets quite noisy. So why do we care? By listening to fish, we can learn a lot about their behavior and ecology without killing them or disturbing their habitat. Aquatic habitats like the Amazon are increasingly disturbed by human noise with unknown ecological consequences. And preservation of the natural soundscape is important if we want to preserve truly natural habitats. But for me, the most important reason is the same one that inspired me as a child to want to be a scientist. The thrill of scientific discovery. To learn things that no one has known before. And in those so doing, to take one more step toward understanding the natural world around us. 
For more information, you can download my free ebook, Listening to Fish New Discoveries in Science, which you can find at my webpage, www.fishecology.org. You can also find other examples of fish sounds and summaries of some of my various research projects. Thank you.